Hard to believe that 30 years have passed you know, since, since this uh, took place here in the nation's capital. Attention, attention. This is a metropolitan police. We were right there when the riot started, bro. We heard the shot, man. On May 5th, 1991, Daniel Gomez was shot in the chest by police officers in Washington, D.C.'s Mount Pleasant neighborhood. Coming to Mount Pleasant was coming to my hometown, to, to El Salvador, you know. It was very, like, barrio-like, you know, everybody knew each other. We started to see a a white movement, and then the dynamics changed. They were bringing in cops. They were no longer the cops that had been in the neighborhood for a while that we knew each other by name. On Saturdays, we would get a bunch of drummers and start hitting. Uh, it's too loud. It ain't been loud for 20 years. Now y'all talking about it's loud. And the white folk in Mount Pleasant were disturbed. Latinos were making too much noise. I think at times we don't pay attention to the stories that aren't seen as spectacular. And I think the things that led up to the uprisings were not spectacular. They were everyday occurrences that just piled up and piled up and piled up. They were little things um, that became big things because they weren't addressed. It just felt like you had your back against the wall and there was nothing you can do but fight. I think it was just a moment where everybody said, we've had it. It was like lighting a match. The community took to the streets. I grew up in the Civil War in El Salvador, and there was another civil war here. Obviously, that is tear gas. The history, memories, and meaning of this consequential event. The riots were in May. In October, we had the Latino blueprint for action. We want this, we want that. We want this, we want that. We want this, we want that. In Washington, where most of the focus is on black-white relations, the Hispanic community, now about 10% of the population, feels ignored. For the first time, seeing Latino folks really saying, no, uh-uh, not this time. You need to listen. It's like when I think about the uprisings, I think about them as the beginning of the conversation. It was a violent beginning to the conversation, but it was a beginning to the conversation. La Mampleza, an uprising remembered on America Reframed and streaming in the PBS app.